My name is George Perry. I'm the Beef Reproduction Specialist at South Dakota State University. And we've heard lots of information on how important placement of semen is with artificial insemination of cattle. But one of the areas that is often overlooked is actually the semen handling part, and it is just as critical as the placement of semen. And so today we want to demonstrate the correct handling of semen to end up with the best fertility as possible with our artificial insemination programs. Now before you begin any artificial insemination uh, project, we need to make sure we have all the correct equipment. And so first we want to show and demonstrate the, cor the correct equipment that is needed to properly handle semen. Now one of the things that is really needed is a pair of forceps in which we can actually reach into the tank at a correct depth and get the straw of semen. And this pair of forceps is actually designed for reaching into a tank and getting straws of semen out. And we can see that it has an angle and a groove so we can reach down into the tank and pull individual straws out. This is important that way our fingers do not touch the other straws of semen that are around the one we are getting and begin to thaw them. The next thing we need is a pair of scissors or some sort of cutting device to actually cut the straw of semen. This is actually designed specially to cut a straw of semen where the straw of semen can be inserted into the uh, opening there and then a razor blade will actually cut the end off. The other opportunity is to actually take a pair of scissors and just cut it off at the correct angle. We need some way to thaw the straw of semen and here we actually have a electronic thaw bath where it is plugged in to maintain the correct temperature. We also can use a simple thermos with water heated to the correct temperature. The thing to be careful with with a thermos is that as we add straws of semen to it, since they are coming out of a tank of liquid nitrogen, they will thaw or cool down the water tremendously and so the temperature of that water needs to be tracked. We need some sort of timing device, whether a timer or anything that has a second hand to be able to keep track of how long the semen has been in the warm water. We need paper towels to dry the semen. We need our AI guns, and I have here two different types. One is an O-ring gun in which the O-ring will slide forward and hold the, the sheath in the correct location. The other one is a spiral gun in which the sheath will slide on and then twist onto the gun to hold it in the correct location. And with that being said, we need the correct sheath, either a sheath that is not split on the end, and a lot of times they will have a blue insert to go onto the spiral guns, or one that does have a split on the end to actually fit under the O-rings, and a lot of times these will have a green insert. After our straw semen is thawed, we need to be able to keep it warm. And so here we actually have a battery-powered gun warmer in which a gun can actually be inserted into it and it will actually keep that gun at the correct temperature. If you do not have access to a gun warmer, the other thing that can be done is a gun can be inserted into your shirt, and I like to wear a button-down shirt with a t-shirt underneath so it is kept at body temperature but away from the skin so we don't introduce anything into the cow. And then last but not least, of course, we need our tank of liquid nitrogen in which the semen is stored, and we'll go into this in more detail in just a minute. And so now we will take a little bit of time and explain a liquid nitrogen tank. And so here we actually see a liquid nitrogen tank that has been cut in half. When we look at this tank, we actually see an inner tank. Inside here is where the liquid nitrogen would be, and then the semen is stored inside the canisters. We can also see this outer tank, and between these two walls, we have insulation, and it's also vacuum sealed to increase the efficiency of that insulation. Now, one of the things to remember, anytime you're dealing with liquid nitrogen or anything that comes out of it, is liquid nitrogen is very cold. It is at about a negative 320 degrees Fahrenheit, and so we need to take safety precautions anytime we're dealing with it. When we're looking at this tank, we can see here a black line about four inches down the neck. This is where the frost line would form inside the tank. This frost line is critical because that is around a negative 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And even though at that temperature the semen will stay frozen, if we get semen above that 
line for any extended period of time, it will actually begin to thaw and we can damage the sperm inside that straw semen. Inside the tank, we can see there's two canisters shown here. Each one of these inside a canister, we will actually have canes of semen. Inside the cane, there will be two goblets. Each goblet will hold five straws of semen. And so each cane will hold 10 straws of semen, and each cane should only contain semen from one bowl. To demonstrate how we would actually do this inside of a tank, we can actually pick up the canister up close to that frost line. We can reach into the neck of the tank with our forceps, pick up the canister, take out our first straw, and then place it into our thaw bath. If we're working out of the bottom canister, or the bottom goblet of this cane, we can easily remove that. And now we can pick up the canister to the point that we can get the bottom straw of semen out. We want to try to minimize the amount of time that canister is up in the neck, and so we want to move as quickly as we can and then return that canister down to liquid nitrogen to keep the semen at the correct temperature. My name is Warren Rushi, SDSU Extension Cow-Calf Field Specialist. And now we're going to demonstrate proper semen handling using an actual nitrogen tank and real straws of semen. As you can see that George has his rubber gloves on, and that's important from a safety standpoint as we mentioned earlier. One of the things that will be different or we need to make sure that we're doing when we're actually breeding cows is that we have a list of which cows get bred to which bulls and which canister and what the cane codes for each one of those bulls are. We want to do that so that we don't have to waste a lot of time deciding what cows get bred to which bull and where do we find those straws of semen. Well, once we've located the correct straw of semen and George is showing he's pu pulling the, ca the canister up uh, into the neck, keeping it all below the frost line, locating the cane, and then grabbing the straw of semen with his forceps. And as soon as we get that, as you get that secured, then that immediately goes into the thaw bath. So as we take the straw out of the cane, we want to make sure to give it a little tap or a flick to remove any residual liquid nitrogen that might be adhering to that plastic straw. We also want to make sure that as we're putting the straw into the water bath, we're not looking directly over that water bath or have our head directly over that. Because in the rare instance, if there's a defect in the straw or there was some liquid nitrogen that was adhering to the, to the straw, that straw could explode and go straight upwards causing some injury. So we want to make sure that we're not looking directly over that. And finally, we have to also remember that uh, these are live cells we're dealing with. So as we're working in the outside in the sun, we want to sh provide as much shade as possible so that the sunlight and the UV rays aren't killing the sperm cells. The thaw bath, we need to have the water somewhere between 94 to 98 degrees. Uh, if we're using a manual thermos, it's very important that we keep monitoring that with a thermometer and adding warm water as necessary. It's a great idea even with these electronic units though to periodically check to make sure that it hasn't come out of calibration. As I said earlier, it needs to thaw for a minimum of 30 seconds. Longer is fine as long as the semen is deposited in the cow within 15 minutes from the time it's been placed into the water bath. Once we've reached that end of the 30 seconds and the straw semen is thawed, we'll take the, str the straw out of the water bath and place it in a folded paper towel. We want to wrap the towel around, around the straw to soak up any extra water. This is very critical because water is deadly to sperm cells. And we also use that to provide, provide protection from sunlight and temperature variations. He's flicked the straw semen so that the air bubble is up at the crimped end. Now we're taking the scissors, cutting off the end of the straw, and, and putting the cutoff end into the sheath and clicking it into that insert. And then we take the, the, the AI gun that's been in the warmer or in our shirt or somewhere where we've been able to keep it warm, slide the sheath and the straw onto the warmed gun, and then in this case we secure the sheath to the, to the gun using the O-ring. The gun's loaded and ready to use. He's placing it back into the gun warmer or next to the technician's body. Again, we want to avoid temperature extremes and variations because that can affect sperm viability.
Now under a microscope, if we do everything correctly, this is what those sperm cells will look like. And again, all of these procedures ensure us the best chances of having a successful outcome with our AI project. Finally, as we're done breeding for the, that time period and before we get ready for the next session, we want to make sure we've cleaned up all the supplies, uh, certainly because of we're dealing with biological cells and we want to keep things as sanitary as possible to make sure that we're not introducing any kind of disease organisms.